Uh, Joe Biden with 50% of the vote, Donald Trump 49%. So a razor thin margin, uh, but quite a, quite a much bigger margin than we saw when Donald Trump defeated Hillary Clinton here four years ago. Yeah, and about an hour or so ago, the president tweeted this claiming wins in several states and saying, quote, additionally, we hereby claim the state of Michigan if in fact there was a large number of secretly dumped ballots, as has been widely reported. <laughs> We've got team coverage of Michigan's ballot count as it continues. Mara McDonald has more of a legal challenge from the Trump campaign. Let's start, though, with Hank Winchester, live at the TCF Center, where a flood of people showed up this afternoon, suddenly uh, wanting to watch the rest of the ballot counting, Hank, and that has led to some tension. Uh, Devin, uh, really just a wild day. Let's go downtown there. That's the only way you can describe it. Uh, Where Cobra Hall times, used to be. Uh, police working to control the situation. And downtown the crowds, Detroit. Very effectively. Right next to her plaza. You can see that is the room where the county continues. And there are some people on the other side of the glass uh, representing both the Republican side Adjacent and the Republican side of this battle. Uh, Renaissance to headquarters. The process as it moves forward. The Secretary of State saying it does continue right now. The county continues. And she says it is legal and fair. Tensions mounting mm -hmm. inside the TCF Center, just outside where thousands of ballots are being counted. Democratic and Republican you insiders see. want in. They want to oversee the process. The whole political in, process is crap. Esau's kingdom, queendom, is crumbling down. The whole political system at all is crumbling down. Michigan Secretary of State Josh 